Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we are going to build a crash car. I'm going to start by naming it, and we're going to make this super simple and able to carry a payload. Now, friends, we are going to build with the cube, which is traditional, but we are going to avoid the handles. Let me show you why. If we type 5 up here for the radius, we get a nice rounded shape. If you stretch the handles, it breaks that. Here's our length. I'm going to tell you that I want this to be 40. Notice it goes this direction. We're going to make the width 70. So now we've got a decently long car. We're going to make the height 30. Once again, if you mess with the handles, it breaks that. Now on our car, I want to put a place for a seat. We're going to do that with a basic cube. I'm just going to cruise it out to the work plane. This one, I am going to stretch the handles, but I'll still type. Let's make this 35 and press enter. Remember this width, if we double check it, was 40. So I'm going to take away 4. So instead of 40, I'm going to type 36. I am going to make the height taller so it cuts all the way through. I'm going to select the two of them, and let's practice aligning with the letter L. The first step is to click the red one so it's the boss. We want the center dot and we want the back dot, and we'll leave it at the bottom. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it forward. I'm going to do a shift nudge. Notice that's 10 millimeters, or it's 10 times the one of our snap grid, and then I want to raise it up so it does not cut out the bottom. We're going to do control up arrow, one, two, three, four. That way it does not cut through. Now we can grab the two items and do control G to group. We have just built a tiny little car with a place for a seat. Let's build our seat super fast by bringing out a cube. Let's pick a different color just because it's fun. I'm gonna make leather seats. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna raise it up so it's 30. And then I'm gonna do Control D to make a second one. But the second one is gonna be a hole. Let's take this and instead of 20, let's make it 16. Notice that takes away two from each side. And let's change this one to 17. Note that'll leave three, and then watch this. Once again, select the two, choose L for a line, click the brown one to make it the boss, and we want it to come to the front and middle, and then we're going to click on that and do control up, one, two, three, so that it raises up. Notice I'm going to select those two. This time I'll use shift select, just showing you more skills. Friends, we're going to cut the armrest into this super slick. Just bring out a cube and cruise it to that back wall. We can make it a little wider so that it fits exactly where we want. You can use the sliders to raise it up and down. You get the exact spot you want. When you're happy, you can select those two shapes and use Control G to group them. You have now got a fun seat for your car. Now let's put it in the car by doing C for cruise, and then you can lift it up and set it in, and this will be where our driver can sit. We'll attach that in a minute with connectors. I do want to select it and do L for a line. Make the car the boss and set it in the middle. Let's grab everything now and raise it up. I'm going to tell you to raise it up about 15. Notice if I lift and then I type 15, it drops that in. And friends, now we need the connectors to attach things so that we can use them in SimLab. We simply enter SimLab. Notice you need to wait a moment for the geometry to become real. And let's bring out the three connectors. We've got the axle, the slider, and the pivot. Now that we've got those, let's return to our build area and let me show you how they work. So the first thing we're going to do is use a pivot. I'm going to do Control D so I don't lose my built-in one. And I'm going to drag this out and I want to set it in my car. I'm going to hit C for cruising to make sure that it shows up in the car where I want. So now it is sitting on the red. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to get it under my chair. Now I want the chair to be connected to the car. So I'm going to drag one handle to the chair. And I'm going to drag the other handle to the car. See this orange line? That shows you that those two pieces are connected. You can see the green living work plane here for where we cruised to. I'm going to click down here to cancel those out. And now we're going to add wheels using these awesome tools as well. 
to make this project quicker, let's just go grab some wheels. I'm going to tell you the wheel I like to use is this one right here. You can explore other wheels on your own, but we're just going to cruise that wheel out on the vehicle. You can see that it lines up pretty darn nice. You can see it's going to hit the ground. We do want to pull it away. I'm going to do control up so that it is not rubbing on the car. Just like that though, we've got a wheel. Now we need the wheel to spin, so we're going to use the axle. Once again, control D. I'm going to bring this over and let's cruise it onto the car. So C for cruise. And I'm going to just set it up on the wall. Now I'm going to shift select the tire and that axle and do L for align. I'm going to look at this from an angle and make sure that I've got the middle dot. And I want the middle dot. And then I really don't care where it connects back here. That does not matter. Now I can click on that orange part. And I want one handle to connect to the wheel. I want the other handle to connect to the body of the car. Notice this is the way it's going to spin. See how that's Kitty Wampus? If we do Control Z, that straightens it back out because we want the wheel to turn around itself. Now we need four wheels. Are you ready for this? Hide, select, Control D, shift nudge back. I'm going to show all. Notice that wheel is not quite lined up. So I'm gonna just do a couple more arrow keys to get it to the back. I like that a lot. Now I can hide this again, grab the wheels and axles, control D, shift nudge to the other side, and then flip. Now I do not know the exact number, but watch this, if we do show all, it is super easy to find those again. I'm going to hide this so I can see, and I'm going to move them out a little more. And now when I do show all, I can grab those a little bit easier. Notice it says four shapes, and I can get them to the exact spot where I want them to be. Got the same gap on every side, and my car is ready to play with. So let's quickly take a look at this in the Sim Lab. Simply click up on the awesome little apple. Give a moment for the geometry to become real. Notice those are orange until they snap into place. That's what it looks like when the geometry is final. And friends, we're ready to do our first test. When we hit play, you can see those wheels are moving. If you click your mouse, you can throw stuff at it and send it over the cliff. If you hit pause, you can back it up and rewatch it. We can change the angle. Also, notice that we're having a little trouble with our seat. We'll adjust that in a moment. Right now, I want you to simply hit reset and let's return to the design area. So in order to make my seat stay where I want, I'm going to add another one of these. Once again, control D and I'm going to cruise this out and I'm going to just put it on the wall of the chair and I want to connect the chair to the car and I want to connect it to the chair. So that's just making that pivot a little more locked. I want the chair to stay in, but I don't want it to be grouped just because I think it'll be more fun later if it's not. So we want to make a course now for our car. We're going to do that by simply hitting settings and changing the measurements from 200 to 1000. Notice you do have to click backspace and then type the numbers. It will not work if you try it another way. I'm going to take my entire car and I'm going to move it off somewhere safe. This way I can get back to it because now we're going to start testing things. If we move back to basic shapes, we can bring out the wedge. Notice I can click F to fit view so I'm closer. Now I can shift rotate two clicks to make it look like a ramp. This time we are going to grab those handles, make it wider and taller, which makes it a lot more fun. Let me show you how we get our little car up on top of the other one. First, select your car and do Control D and Shift Nudge so we keep a copy. That way, if something ever breaks, we can come back to our original. Press C to cruise, grab the dot, and let's set it up on the blue thing. Now, notice it's aimed the wrong way. We can simply rotate it while it's this way so that it's aimed forward. Notice this is 22 and a half degrees at a time because I'm inside the circle. I can also do Shift Rotate so it's 45 degrees get my car lined up. 
If you make a mistake, you can just delete that one and start again with the other. I'm going to zoom in on our car and I want to add a character. Let's go to the creatures and characters and pick somebody to ride. I am going to put this little character inside. Notice I'm cruising him onto the seat. And for this first test, I'm just going to leave him in there. No seat belts. Let's go into the sim lab. This time the geometry goes a little bit faster. Get the angle the way you want it. And let's hit play. <laughs> if we hit pause, we can back up. Zoom in, get our angle just the way we want, and you can use this slider to check out what happened to our dude. Notice without a seatbelt, he bounces and falls off. Let's real quickly add a sort of seatbelt for him. Check this out. We can now modify things in the sim lab area. So I'm just going to zoom in with the scroll wheel, and I want to bring out a pivot connector. I'm going to cruise this onto the center of the car, or we could put it on the seat. You can take your pick. When I click on the shape, of course, I want one piece to connect to the dude. So right there, I'm connecting to the dude, and I want the other one to connect to the chair. So it's kind of like a seat belt that holds him in place. If we spin around, we can now hit play, and we can watch him. He slides and stays just like he's supposed to. Let's real quickly hit reset. Let's move back to the build area. Let's go to the basic shapes. And let's put some obstacles in the path so we can see how that affects our cool little project. I'm going to select that one and do control D and move it out. I'll stagger these just a little bit. Now we can quickly return to the sim lab. I do not want these to move, so I'm going to make them static. And let's hit play and see what we get. <laughs> Seat belt worked. Awesome spin out. And cars that eventually roll off the cliff. How fun is that? Pause. Don't forget you can move these back and forth as you play. Tons of room for you to explore and have a blast with your awesome little SimLab car that has a seat and the ability to crash. Now I do want to remind you if you hit the word share, you can make a video of what you did. Simply hit create video. You can choose what format you prefer. You can orient the video so it's from any angle. You can make these clips again and again, choosing either low quality or high quality. You can also save images. It is a ton of fun and a great way to share the cool things that you make in Tinkercad. Friends, let me give you quick steps to show the world what you made. My first step is always to change the background to something cool. I'm going to make mine a light blue. How about this one right here? And then also hide the grid so that way it's a cooler looking design. And at that point, you can save your project by returning to the Tinkercad dashboard. Click the little properties gear. Give it a name. Notice mine says a tutorial's coming soon. It also shows you how to find all the new HLMT 23 shares. Finally, it gives you different ways to reach me. Of course, add some tags. And I want to remind you, if you ever add the tag HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you set it to public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always set my attribution to no derivatives because instead of copying my design, I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. Friends, I'm totally looking forward to seeing all the cool things you make with the crash car. I do also want to let you know that I have a crash test dummy. If you type crash dummy starter while using search, you'll be able to track it down and actually have a real crash test dummy in your car. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly.
At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.